So hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to have you all here today. Today we're gonna to be building the morphing circle animation that you see off to the side here. This is a really great effect. It's one that I really enjoy and one that I think will add a lot of value to your apps as you um, go and build things. Uh, but what I wanna do next actually is I wanna shout out and creator here. His name is George Francis. And he does a lot of tutorials on animations and different things like that. And I was looking at this blog the other day, build a smooth animated blob using SVG and JavaScript. And I found that he did all of the stuff uh, that we kind of needed to do, but he did it with SVGs and with the tools in the browser. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna take his tutorial and I'm gonna take um, some of the code that he was working with and I'm gonna port it over to React Native so that it'll work with React Native Skia and so that we can get that nice 60 FPS mobile performance that uh, we all love from React Native Skia and its 2D rendering engine. And what I'm gonna to do too is I'm gonna to add a link to his original tutorial for doing this with the browser and SVGs in the description. And so if any of you guys wanna check that out, uh, you can go ahead and check out his um, awesome um, article. So um, without any further ado, let's get into the coding. Please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is install React Native Skia. We're gonna install Spline from George Does Code. And finally, we're gonna install a Simplex Noise into our project. At this point, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a method that allows us to create the initial points for our animation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna first decide on the number of points, which is gonna be six. Um, the angle, which is going to be math.pi times 2 divided by the number of points, and we're going to set a radius of 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through each of the points, and for each point we're going to calculate its origin x and origin y, and we're going to use these to then connect the points later on in the um, spline method. And once we have those, we're just gonna push them into the new points array. And finally, we're gonna set a little noise offset um, using math.random times a thousand for X and Y. All right, so that's pretty good. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a value, a skia value and pull of our points inside of it and then we're gonna use a computed value in order to calculate our path. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna return the spline method uh, using the current value of points. And what spline does is it returns the path as a set of cubic Bezier curves and we're gonna use those to animate a little later on. Finally, we're gonna put our path inside of the path component and we see our nice static uh, blob. <laughs> All right, so let's animate this. And our first step to this is being able to anim um, map some of the random numbers from their original value into a value that makes sense on our canvas. And so I'm gonna create a method to do that right now. Uh, it just does some simple math, um, just basic addition and subtraction that you're used to in order to perform the mapping. Okay, so what we're gonna do at this point is we're actually gonna animate the points. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna create a new array of points and we're gonna loop through the old array and we're gonna make adjustments to the different X and Y coordinates of the points that are already in the array. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna calculate uh, the X noise. And in order to do that, we have to actually um, use the noise from Simplex Noise. After that, we're gonna create a noise step which basically decides the speed of the blob's movement. And then finally, we're gonna use use clock value, which increments every single time a new frame is available. So we're gonna draw on every new frame. And so in order to create the um, noise for X, we're gonna just put it into the noise function, our Y offset and X offset, and the same thing's true for Y. Finally, we're gonna map from our NX value to uh, values between negative one and one, and origin minus 20 and origin x plus 20. And we're gonna do the same thing for y. We're 
we're going to set the x and y values of the point to the new values we created. And then we're going to update the noise offset of x and the noise offset of y so that we get a little bit different um, animation every time. Finally, we're going to add points to our points array, and then we're going to set points.current to the new points. So at this point, if we reanimate on the clock and add the animate function, we get to see our circle animate nicely. All right, so let's finish up by adjusting the gradient. Unfortunately, I uh, was not able to change hue the same way that they were able to in the article. So I'm going to do a little bit different of a linear gradient effect. And the way this is going to work is that we're going to have another um, computed value. And this is also going to update based on the value of the clock. Inside of here, we're going to add the noise to the current gradient step. After that, we're going to calculate the end coordinate noise uh, based on the current value of our gradient end coordinate. And finally, we're going to say the new value is going to be a mapping from the noise back to um, the coordinates that are possible for our animation. Finally, we're just going to return a vec, which is a point on the Skia canvas, and uh, fix a typo that was made here. All right, so inside of the path, what we're going to do is we're going to add a linear gradient. We're going to set the start value of the gradient to 0, 0. We're going to set the end value of the gradient um, to be 256. And uh, the new value, finally, we're going to have our colors go from green to yellow. And it's pretty cool. And as you can see here, the yellow kind of moves around with the green. And uh, you get that nice blob effect and everything's at 60 FPS. So thanks again, everyone, for coming out and supporting the video. Um, I'm really enjoying making these and I hope you guys are enjoying them too. Uh, but until next time, all the best.